Hey, you guys ever hear of a store called Ready Quick? Now, if any of you said yes, you're lying because there's no such store. Next is used for a training series. Check out these films from 1985. Now, don't attempt to adjust your television. Those really are their uniforms. Hi, my name is Steve Anderson. I'm president of Pickwick Food Stores in Clearwater, Florida. You're about to see some examples of training programs offered by the National Association of Convenience Stores. These training programs are designed to help you and your employees merchandise your stores better, serve your customers better, and boost your bottom line. I'm not going to say any more because I think the quality of these programs speak for itself. Let's take a look. But I feel funny trying to sell somebody something they don't want. Sure. That's because you're not thinking of selling as a customer service. If you remind a customer of something he's forgotten or might need, you've made a friend. You've made his life a little easier. So selling, as you call it, is a way to make your customers feel welcome, to communicate with them, to get to know them. Well, if a customer buys a cup of coffee, he might be interested in a Danish or a donut. If he buys a sandwich, maybe he'd like a soft drink or some chips or a piece of pastry. If he buys film, uh, perhaps he'd like some flash cubes. The possibilities are endless. <laughs> Morning. Morning. Say, how about a nice cold drink with your sandwich and chips? Sounds good. Where are they? It's right in the cooler against the wall. Thank you. You're welcome. This is getting interesting. Now, in this first film, we're going to introduce two very important ideas about gasoline merchandising. First, gasoline merchandising has many parts. Second, to be effective, they must all be organized. Watch and listen while we demonstrate. Hi, Fred. Oh, hi, Dick. How you doing? Good. Uh, nice day, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Boy, it looks like a great weekend to go up to the lake. Hey, you know, that's right. It's a long weekend. I better stop back and pick up some beer on Friday. That sounds like a good idea. Yeah, I'm going water skiing on Saturday. Oh, oh. that sounds like fun. Boy, I hope the weather holds. Hey, me too. I'm really ready for it. And you know, you have got everything I need right here. Well, it's just good merchandising. Oh, yeah? How's that? Well, to us, merchandising means the things that we do to make people buy from us and the things that we do to make it easy for them. I just stopped to get gas. Well, the gas island is part of the store. In fact, that's where our merchandising plan begins, with fast service. Boy, that's something that everybody who stops by a convenience store really wants. Well, I certainly got that. Well, some people think that's all there is to selling gas. Be fast and be courteous. But that's just the beginning. I needed them both. Right, and we had it. That's just another way of serving our gas customers. Will there be anything else, Mr. Craig? Oh, that's got it. Okay. That'll be 1956 out of 20. You know, most people need a little something for their cars all the time. That's why we carry a lot of different items. And then I reminded you about the lake this weekend in case you needed something else. That's part of merchandising, too. That'll be 44 cents. Thank you. You know, it seems like everything you do is part of merchandising. You can't imagine how much trouble it is cleaning a new apartment. Oh, well, good luck. Don't work too hard. <laughs> That explains why the laundry detergent's been moving so fast. You must be drawing a lot of people from that new apartment complex. Quite a few. Well, Fred, the additional demand they're creating for detergents and cleaning products is what's been causing your out of stocks. You know, our standard order form's only a guide. We set it up based on an average of how much movement there is on each product. But you're the guy who's running this store, and it's up to you to keep an eye on how well products are selling so that you can order to match movement. That holds true even if you've got a vendor or a route salesman or a service merchandiser taking care of things. When you're getting repeated out of stocks on an item, you need to make some adjustment in your bill to level or your ordering procedure. That way you avoid making special requests of vendors or pulling product from other stores. I hope you've enjoyed this brief look at some of the excellent audiovisual training programs available from NACS.